Hello guys, how are you all doing today? Uh, we're going to be playing City Skylines, a new game I just recently got. Uh, it's pretty fun, so it's going to become a kind of a series, so hope you guys enjoy. So, we're going to be selecting a map. Uh, we're going to want one that has a lot of flowing rivers and lots of outside access. That's going to be preferable for us. So, um, oh, no thanks. Well, let's see. We'll go with, goodness, there's so many of them. Mm, I just saw a nice one a minute ago, but I can't find it. Because this is, we're going to make this uh, series for a few weeks. Um, not a few weeks, I shouldn't say, but at least a little while. So we're going to want it to be a good map. So we're going to... Um, we're going to go with Green Plains. Because it looks kind of flat and has a lot of good access for us. So, uh, Loading in. And then you'll see what it's about. It's a pretty fun game. I'd recommend it to you. It's, you know, Paradox games. All Paradox games are great. So, Let's load in. Taking a good bit. A little bit of lag because, you know graphics cranked up gotta have the full experience all right so and there we are so let's build ourselves a road we're gonna want to probably try and build along that river so uh, we'll build one of these little custom roads Uh, wrong. What? I guess it, I guess it'll technically work, but wasn't what I was trying to do. So, in this game, it's all about planning ahead. Cause I mean, like obviously, you don't have infinite funds, so I mean, you can run out of money pretty, f actually, pretty fast. So you have to be kind of careful about all that. Let us go up to here. You can always tell the radius by the. uh where the edges of the circle are. So we're going to build some residential zone edges. So you don't actually have to build these zones yourself, which is another very nice thing about this game. The game will build them for you if you just select an area. So let's say I want a lot of like one-sided kind of res residential zones here. And you'll see where I'm cutting them off here. Then I'll put some of this civilian industry like this. This. And we're not even going to bother with that, because that's just, uh, quite frankly, a clusterfuck. There's a lot of weird roads, so. We're going to want a stable water supply, so we're going to want to go to the middle of the road. Build. Middle of the road. Boom. So that's all covered. And then a fuel source, which I think we can source using windmills I shouldn't say fuel but rather power and we might be ready to start so let's unpause the game power lines are going to be my first way of you know evolving the city you can see that, like I said the sort of kind of just pops up and it's already sprawling sewage, sewage is going to be a big issue we're going to start dumping it off back here. Thankfully, it's a flowing river, so in theory, and a fast-flowing one, too. So in theory, our water uh, should not be polluted nor contaminated by these this sewage dumping plant, but only time will tell. Uh, this is a very fast-flowing fast river. What's, our, what's overflowing our budget right now? This water will bring back the water to 85%. Hopefully rain in that budget a wee bit. And let's continue to develop the city. So right now, I would say our main concern is lack of industry. But I think, why don't you just build industry? Well, industry is a little bit more unique than a lot of the other building types in the sense that, well, it has a high, high pollute. It like pollutes very, very high amounts. So you got to kind of be careful in how you build your uh, industry because 
Well, if you don't, then you're going to be left out with a desolate wasteland. So we're going to build our industry all back here. No, and obviously, civilians don't want pollution everywhere, so you can't build them near civilians either. So, like I said, a little bit of planning ahead there will save you in the long run. So we're going to build a few waterways. Maybe a few across like this. And then like this. Oh, I'm out of money. Hopefully, in theory, this should boost our economy up a considerable bit. And it's okay once you go in debt. It's not over. Uh, I, I, in fact, my most successful save game, I was on the bankruptcy and I came back. So, this, it's never over until it's completely over. Obviously, with the budget cuts, you're going to need to... I'm going to need to bring this back to maybe a, a clean 65%. This basically filters how effective it will be. So if I load my energy budget, my would produce less energy. So it's like a give and take kind of aspect. You're going to be less effective, which is not going to be good. Now this is going to be a killer for me because I really need to get water to this small little region. Or else properties will become abandoned. I'll lose value. Overall, just a lot of very, very bad things will occur. Oh, we're out of deficit. Nice. Just like that. Turned it around. And it may take a minute or two for the deficit to completely erase itself or the wrong, but, you know, it's all well. All's well that ends well, I suppose. Let's see how the sewage is going. So, you can't even actually notice the sewage currently. So, that's very good. And then, this highway is our main source of traffic. However, we'll also be able to expand shipping routes through here. I presume railroads get up to there, and we'll have an. We'll also build an airport once things get a little bit better for us. But you gotta unlock a lot of things too. All right, thank goodness I got that done in time. How is our water available? Oh, little hamlet. So here's where you unlock new aspects: medical clinics, landfills, and elementary schools. So we're gonna want to provide medical access to the masses, education to many. And most importantly, believe it or not, more important than medical access and education combined, garbage. <laughs> garbage is the most important thing in this game, in my opinion. Because when there's garbage piling up, you are just going to do abysmal. Nobody's going to want to live in your city. Uh, cities will get abandoned. Seats are starting to pile up, and this is going to get very bad very fast. So... Uh, we're not going to take a loan quite yet, because loans, they're very nice in the short run, but in the long run, eventually you might be very close to not making money, and you're going to need that extra 400 300 a month. So, usually, I only take out loans before a big project and try as hard as I can to pay them off, because, honestly, irresponsible spending of those loans is going to bring you down very fast, very, very fast. So, could I, I don't, you know what, we're going to try something a little bit, a little bit risky here. We're going to try and squeeze another industrial district in here. This will greatly boost the basis of the economy, and if I zone it right, which I cannot do yet until I have a thousand people, then the buildings will reach even higher efficiency, and overall, we'll be booming. Which would be phenomenal. I mean, obviously, we're going to make this video about 20 minutes long. So, let me know if you want to see more of this game. It's pretty fun, I'd say. And later on, we'll bring in natural disasters, man-made ones. That'll be horrible. Because, I mean, only thing more fun than manly designing a city is sadistically torturing the citizens that live inside of it. So, in theory, they should not hurt production value because this is already a horribly polluted region. And, I mean, what more can this really pollute? But, uh, landfills. There's no recycling in this game. There's just burning trash or... Ooh, sh Not good, not good. We're gonna need more power. But, power is expensive. Worthy village. Uh, yes, that's me. Well, coal. Coal's another huge pollutant, huge noise pollutant, but... 
like I said, in theory, in the short run, it should significantly help out my energy. Sewage issues finally resolved. Please. There we go. Oh, we got to speed up the game. That's what it was. All right, we're going to want expensive. Okay, so this is when I take out a loan, for instance. I want to begin a large safety project. So we're going to take out a loan. Fire de department. Oh, yeah, one good thing to do. By the way, you can demolish your buildings with just a click. Building's gone. Building's gone. Building's gone. And connect. We're going to want to build a fire department. Because uh, all this industrial districts got me a little bit nervous. Because, you know, those are very, very easily flammable. We're going to want to build... Not a second one. That's a little bit excessive. We're going to want to build a police office. Police... What? Police station. That's the word. Police office. And pollution is not having a significant role yet. Uh... Oh, losing people, however, so that's not good. What's what do we what do we gotta do? I think it's time to expand. So, easiest way to expand is just directly building new regions, which you can see I'm doing right now. We can interconnect those regions and make this a fic very effective region with civilian industry. And, and, you know, we can provide a little bit of civilian industry over here. Eventually, you're going to want to utilize all this. So that's what I'm going to do, actually, right now. And we'll take a little risk here, plop in some of that. And then after that, I'll begin to show you the zoning tool, which is arguably as useful as this, 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 this building your city. It's a very, very vital tool. Alright, that should be good. So. Now, water. Sometimes, if you get to make water, catastrophe. So, always make sure, uh, if you play this game, to have water. Pretty, pretty uh, obvious, but you know. Sometimes you might forget when you make a new region, because you're so preoccupied building other things. So, this is where it is. So, districts. This is an urban area, so we're going to district this all into a one little urban clunk. Clunk. Clunk? Area. Region? You know, get the picture. And if you want to, you can make the borders nice and satisfying. Which I love to do. And then this industrial region, you can just say, this is an industrial region. We're, gonna, we're not going to change the fact that it's an industrial region. And just keep it like that. What is this? This is like Stonehenge, huh? But with the addition of this new region, we're going to need new workers, trained workers specifically. Actually, no, not even trained workers, it's workers. So, uh, how's the medical access looking over here? Looking fine enough, I suppose. Maybe one more. And then... Maybe uh, our budget is not through the roof yet, so I guess we can stay how we are. How's our water looking? Sewage, maybe bump up the sewage pumping a little bit. And so, yeah, like I said, this is fast moving water, so the sewage is someone else's problem. <laughs> not my problem. What is this? No one's living there, and that happens sometimes. It's less than optimal but it happens so cemetery we're gonna need cemeteries very soon but until then we'll just not have them now people are very sad because they don't have nice things so to give them nice things I need money population I need population will make a very big difference Population equals money in this game, quite frankly. If you have a high population, you're going to be rolling in the dough. So, they're they're pretty directly correlated, I would say. Plop in civilian industry. I'll take the risk. Let's see. I mean, 
maybe one or two houses will be like really sad about it, but sometimes take the sacrifice for the greater good, I guess. Take the hit so that the rest of us can flourish. So, I mean, these ones all look so nicely interconnected. Frankly, it can't always be like that. Sometimes this happens and it's ugly and I know it. it's disgusting. You'll hate me for it, but <laughs> it has to happen sometimes. I'm going to build it up to there. Leave that as like this quarantine stay out zone of sorts. Public library. I'll build that when I want to. Sometimes the game will kind of nag you. Tell you, oh, you need to build this. But then if people don't want it, you don't need it, whatever. High school, that's what I need, is uh, higher education. Because without education, your jobs are going to go unfilled. Because, I mean, bricks cannot work on an assembly line, sadly. And then you get these dilemmas where you have to de demolish some buildings to build something new. And it's 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 kind of annoying, but it, it's bound to happen multiple times through your playthrough. So if it hurts you... Get used to it. Sorry. Bouncy castles. Bouncy castles are neat. They're nice because you can just kind of plop one in. And suddenly... Oh, well, water. See? I made the mistake. Now everyone is complaining. And these houses hopefully will not get abandoned. Say so hopefully with... Suboptimal... A sub... 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 Something... I'll just say sub eight times and then hope that it makes sense. Energy. So, and then, of course, you always need to be got, always going to be needing to add on to your energy grid. Green energy. Yeah, green energy right by the coal plants. And then you can do some neat stuff like canals. I guess I'll show you guys the canal. Because I guess this isn't like a truly fully serious playthrough. Moreover, just showing you guys the game. Seeing if you guys like it. Seeing what's up so yeah this is how canals work I mean not how canals work but rather how they function in this game and then if you want to get rid of them you just delete them and for some reason it just refunds you but in this case we're gonna want to build a deep canal because I mean deep canals are cool who doesn't love a deep canal you could even build like some needless industrial zone over there, but I'm not gonna because it's hard to do well when you make stupid things just for the sake of saying I did it. I was the one who did that. All right, so things like this. Am I thinking what kind of use can that have? You can plop these sad, pathetic little houses in there and. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to fit, but they do, and they feel bad for them, but I don't, because I need the money. That sounded corrupt. Uh, I regret my wording, but not my actions. And then if you ever feel like you just need a quick one-time buff and, like, let's set this angle right, so 145 degrees should be a nice little perfect oh wait no 135 says it's the perfect angle I believe it it looks nice and then this is a little dilemma here cuz now me having this kind of annoying thing but, thankfully, you can just plop some civilian industries in there. Like, these little end caps, perfect for civilian industry. I, I sometimes annoy, get annoyed by it, sometimes I'm just like, think, the heavens. Civilian industry, civilian industry, boom. Make a little end cap, civilian industry. What more could you possibly want? The answer is you couldn't. So now, it's time for this. I know it looks horrible. 
You don't have to remind me of my crappy city management skills. And I'm out of money. Woo! Round of applause for my horrible fund management. I need money. I'm like a little, I'm a little monkey, you know? Money is simulation to do more, to do more bad things. I didn't forget about it. Don't, don't, I know you're probably thinking if you're actually watching, he forgot about it. No, he didn't forget about it. He was just too preoccupied to care about his civilians. No, he was caring for them elsewhere, yes. Ooh, a little bump my mic. Presumably that raped your guys' eardrums. I apologize. In advance. In, in advance? In hindsight. I can't not say it. You know, they always say hindsight's twenty twenty. I don't know why I had to say that, but I did. So, screw off. So, now we can expand our zoning. Sometimes I like to do this. So sometimes I'll be like, you know what? No, this is no longer Concord Heights region. No, no, no. This is the new and improved. Wait for it. Fairview District. Hey, Fairview. And so with that, that I'm going to say, that's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to tell me. I'll make more. Hit the like button. Even if you don't, just comment. It helps the videos get along better, you know. Give me some tips. I don't know what you guys want. Other than that, though, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I sure had fun with this video, and I'll be uploading more. So, anyways, have a great day, guys, or night, or whatever's up with you guys, and goodbye.